From a YouTuber making one of the fastest growing games in the history of Roblox, to a developer who revolutionized Roblox's largest genres, today we'll be going over how these users rose from nothing and was able to make billions of Robux. Let's jump into their stories one by one, starting with Roblox's youngest billionaire. Before developing Roblox games, Hazem was your average 12 year old kid who loved playing Roblox and having fun. But Hazem didn't want to be just a typical Roblox player. He wanted to start developing at a very young age, as he was just a simple kid with a dream. And after using his mom's laptop to download Roblox Studio, and with the help of YouTube videos, he eventually created his first ever Roblox game, which was known as Hazem's Build, which is now no longer public. But after making that game, he was inspired to take developing to its limits. So in 2020, he decided to go crazy with developing. As he made many classic games like The Compliment Machine and a 2020 countdown to celebrate the new year, which didn't have major success, but he ended up getting results. So in 2021, he took all the knowledge from his previous games and used it to his advantage. As he finally got the recognition he deserved at the time with Music Maker, Keyboard Defender, and many more games. But there was one that stood out, a simple typing game that would eventually blow up in popularity, as we have Type Race. A multiplayer game where you have to type out sentences as fast as you can. And after creating a Squid Game mode inside of the game, many YouTubers and creators were talking about how innovative the game was, which ended up getting him over 15 million visits and showed Hazem that developing could make him some serious cash. But everything changed in early 2022, as Hazem was just messing around on Roblox Studio, where he decided to make a very simple stand game where you could have others tip and donate at your stand or donate to other stands. And on February 7th, 2022, Hazem would announce to the world about his new donation game. And what happened after this game's release took the community by storm. In the matter of only 25 months since the game has been released, it has averaged more than 10,000 players, gathered over 2 billion visits, and claimed the title as the youngest billionaire in Robux history, which has not only helped millions online experience having Robux without having to do anything, but also many YouTubers and creators rose from nothing to make a platform and make popular trends. But most creators just like making videos, but one YouTuber had defined all odds and made one of the most popular games in Roblox history. Upon making Roblox games, Talanthric became a household name in the Roblox community, as he first got exposure by creating his channel in December of 2017, in which his first videos were how to get different codes in different games, and after he outgrew those style of videos, he decided to make gaming content in 2020, as his first gaming videos were on the now abandoned game known as Islands, which is where he really started to take content creation seriously and was slowly rising to be big in the YouTube scene. And after he had a lot of success, he decided to switch over to Roblox's biggest game at the time, which is known as Roblox Bed Wars, and kept the same upload schedule, which helped him surpass 100,000 subscribers and more. But everything changed in early 2023, which at the time was an all-time low for Talanthric, as his main source of content was slowly becoming repetitive and boring. So he decided to switch over to Pet Simulator, but he wasn't able to grow as much as the other previous games. He needed something, a topic that will not only keep his viewers entertained, but also himself. 
but everything changed when one trend on YouTube forever changed the next generation of players and developers, which is known as Skibbity Toilet. An insanely popular series where you follow a fictional war between human-headed toilets and humanoid characters with weird-looking electronic devices for heads. This series would forever change people's lives, and the person's life that changed more than anyone else was Talanthric. He was inspired by this series and wanted to make a game on Roblox, including this trend. Which is why, in June of 2023, he would release Toilet Tower Defense to the world. In only five months, the games had already surpassed 1 billion visits, which to my knowledge, only Blayball, Piggy, and Doors hit that milestone faster. And with the game still maintaining 100,000 players, getting billions of visits, millions of subscribers, and a fat paycheck from Roblox, there are many more impressive billionaires out there. Unlike Talanthric, Muneeb was an average 10 year old who started playing Roblox during the Renaissance era of Roblox. But just like Talanthric, he also started making YouTube videos on codes for different games, as well as making egg hunt videos, which at the time blew up in popularity. But just like Talanthric, Muneeb was inspired to create the best games possible. And during 2019, he decided to create his first game, which was Lumber Simulator. But after his first game, he was incredibly determined to make even more games. And during this year, he was looking at Roblox games and saw a game known as Camping. A legendary story game which has gathered millions of players over the years with its incredible adventure themed maps to survive the wilderness. And after being inspired by this game, he would go to work and in September of 2019, he would have his first mega hit game, which is known as Daycare. A story game where you have to stay at a daycare for two nights with 6 to 12 people while trying to survive the scary monsters inside the daycare, which would gather him over 400 million visits and after he first started seeing success, he went on an unbelievable streak of making more games that seemed to do better than the last, as he would make a brand new game called Vacation and even make a sequel of Daycare by making a second version and would gather over 1 billion visits across all of these games, which was starting to make him millions and millions of Robux. But he wasn't done there. Even with all the success he got from other viral games like Mega Hide and Seek and many more projects, he wanted to make a game that was nothing Roblox had ever seen before. He wanted it to be different. A game where you can always play it all the time. And little did he know that his next game would change Roblox forever. Welcome to Catalog Avatar Creator. A game inspired by Catalog Heaven, in which you can allow yourself to try on many different avatar slash catalog items. This game would shatter every record Maneeb had with its other games, and by the end of 2021, he would have 900 million visits to its name. But little did he know that his catalog game would be the face of Roblox fashion. And with 4 billion visits across all of his games, a ton of innovation awards, and with him being interviewed by the BBC, it is very clear that this man defined all odds and showed that anything is possible. But most of these guys were able to make a ton of money in the modern era of Roblox. But let's talk about one of the most OG developers in Roblox history, who is known as Nicholas. He first joined Roblox in 2008 as a normal 9 year old who loved playing video games. But eventually, he got bored of just playing games as he wanted to venture out and try to create his own games. So in 2013, he would make that possible as he created his very first game called Trucking Tycoon, which is a typical tycoon, but you can drive trucks to sell goods and become rich. And even though the game got shut down a long time ago, it was still able to get over 1.7 million visits, which is quite impressive at the time. But after that, he would make more games, but would quickly run out of motivation to update them, as they were simple projects that were just for fun. But everything would change in December of 2013, as Nicholas was trying to come up with another game project he could work on, and he stumbled across a game that was blowing up at the time, which was called Murder in Gary's Mod, which is basically, you begin with one murderer, one detective, and the rest are bystanders. He was inspired by this game a lot, and wanted to create something similar in Roblox. And after only a few months of work, he would eventually release Murder Mystery 2. And little did he know that this game would change Roblox 
forever. In only three months since the game released, it had already gotten 10 million visits, which is unbelievable at the time. After making small updates to the game every few months, the player count kept rising and rising. And in 2017, it would become the first Roblox game in history to surpass 500 million visits, which is an honor only given to the best of the best. And with him still averaging 150,000 players, 14 billion visits, and with the most likes ever given to a Roblox game, Nicholas really stood out and showed that you can do anything. But considering how rich Roblox is, there are many more players out there that have defined all odds and made billions of Robux. So if this video gets six likes, I will make another version of this video. But for now, I'm out. Peace.